हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर रजित पवार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला टुडे वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लोइड पार्ट टू इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ टुडे वी डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लोइड in brief first topic is the viscosity then after surface tension capillarity compressibility everybody familiar in the last lecture about viscosity viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of the fluid when two layers of fluid a distance dy apart move one over the other at velocity there are various different velocity say u and u plus du these are shown in the figure see the figure here the du is the velocity then u plus du is the velocity change in velocity there are velocity gradient is given now see the viscosity together with relative velocity causes a shear stress acting between the two fluids the top layer causes a shear stress on the adjacent lower layer while the lower layer causes the shear stress on the adjacent layer this shear stress is proportional to the rate of velocity with respect to u it is denoted by tau see here mathematically tau is directly proportional to du by dy du by dy is the rate of strain means velocity gradient and mu is the coefficient of viscosity or it is also called as the dynamic viscosity therefore tau is equal to mu du by dy this is your viscosity or coefficient of viscosity there are two types of the viscosity dynamic and kinematic right then turn to next topic which is units of the viscosity viscosity having the units in mkrs in si in cgrs systems the unit of viscosity is obtained by putting the dimension quantities in the above given equation of viscosity mu is equal to shear stress divided by change of velocity divided by change of distance right now shear stress means force divided by our area and change in change of velocity is equal to the length divided by time and change in length of the change in distance means it will be the length distance means length which is 1 by length now force divided by length square divided by 1 by time is equal to force divided by time divided by length square in this way in the mk system it represented by kgf and length is in meter but in cg system length is it, uh, is in the centimeter means it will be die uh, represented by die in and length in centimeter also in si system newtons is the unit for the force and length is in meter that's why mks is unit is equal to the kgf per sec or plus kgf second per meter square and in cgs the viscosity is equal to die in centimeter per centimeter square sorry die in second per centimeter square now see Newton per meter square. Newton per meter square is generally the unit of our pressure. We know Newton per meter square is Pascal, and it is also represented by the PA. Therefore, SI units of the viscosity is Newton second per meter square, means Pascal second. In CGS unit of viscosity is dyne second per centimeter square. 
now the one point is equal to one by ten newton second per meter square means ten point is equal to one ns per meter square right means this is the unit of our viscosity now turn to next topic and next types of our viscosity which is a kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity is a very important term related to our viscosity it is defined as the ratio of dynamic viscosity to the density of fluid dynamic viscosity to the density of fluids and it is denoted by nu kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic viscosity of fluid divided by density of the fluid now the unit is simple unit meter square per second and in a cgs system it will be centimeter square per second centimeter square per second is equal to our stroke stroke is the unit also in the kinematic viscosity newton's law of viscosity we are familiar with the viscosity then obviously newton's law says the shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain right in this way it state that the shear stress on the fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain the constant of proportionality is called as the coefficient of viscosity means it is also the dynamic viscosity then that's why tau is equal to mu du by dy fluid which obeys the newton's law of viscosity that is the real fluid in which the shear stress is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain are known as newtonian fluid these are the various types of fluid newtonian non newtonian ideal real are the various types of the fluid we discuss these types in next our lecture and which doesn't obey the newton's law of viscosity the real fluid in which the shear stress is not proportional to the rate of shear strain are known as non newtonian fluid right now the effect of temperature on the viscosity viscosity is affected by the temperature viscosity is affected by the temperature the viscosity of fluid decreases with the temperature with the temperature while the viscosity of gases increases with the increase in temperature right means gases increases then temperature is also increases this is due to the reason that in liquid the shear stress is due to the intermolecular cohesion which decreases with increase of temperature with increase of the temperature in the gases the intermolecular cohesion is negligible and shear stress is due to the exchange of momentum of the molecules the molecular activity increases with the increase of temperature and viscosity increases right now turn to our next topic which is surface tension surface tension surface tension is the one of the most important property of our fluid surface tension is defined as the tensile force acting on the surface of liquid in contact with the gas or air or surface gas air or surface between the two immiscible liquids such that the contact surface behave like a membrane under the tension is it due to the cohesion between the molecules at the surface of liquid means surface tension occurs due to cohesion is the important term due to molecular attraction liquid possesses certain properties such as cohesion and adhesion cohesion it is means that intermolecular attraction between molecules of same liquid that is tendency of liquid to remains as one particles which is the cohesion and in adhesion it means attraction between molecules of liquid and molecules of same liquid that is tendency in contact with it see in the figure consider two molecules a and b one is in the uh, liquid and another is half liquid and half in the outer surface a and b are the molecules 
of liquid in mass of liquid the molecules a is attracted in all the directions equally see here a is at some consider a is at center that's why the attraction in all direction are equals right by the surrounding molecules of liquid thus the resultant force acting on the molecules a is zero means all sides are equally attracted that's why the resultant will be zero but the molecules b which is situated at the surface of liquid is acted upon the downward force only the molecule b experiences the resultant downward force all the molecules at the surface of liquid is acted by this downward tensile force which forms a very thin film or layer on the liquid surface which is in tension and small load can be supported on it this property of liquid surface to exert the tension called as the surface tension is depends on the cohesion force and magnitude decreases with increase in temperature it is also depends on the fluid which is in connect with the liquid surface which fluid connected to the liquid surface there are formulae for the surface tension which is equal to sigma is the symbol for denotation of surface tension which is equal to pd by 4 for the droplet means there are some liquid droplet then we use sigma is equal to pd by 4 here p is equal to pressure intensity inside and d is equal to diameter of the droplet and in for the hollow bubbles the formula changes which is equal to sigma pd by 8 here also the pressure for the bubble pressure intensity and d is equal to diameter of the bubble now let us discuss about the terms capillarity capillarity is defined as the phenomena of rise or fall of liquid surface in a small tube relative to the adjacent level of the liquid when a tube is held vertically in the liquid whenever we held the tube vertically in the liquid right the rise of liquid level in the tube is called as the capillary rise while fall of the liquid level in the tube is called as the capillary depression this figure shows the capillary rise its value depends on the specific weight of the liquid diameter of the tube and surface tension of liquid right capillary rise is denoted by h means meter is a unit h is equal to pho sigma cos theta divided by rho gd where sigma is equal to surface tension of the liquid theta is equal to angle of contact between liquid and glass tube means liquid and glass tube this is show in the figure theta h is equal to capillary rise in the tube how much capillary rise is indicating by h sigma uh, plus sorry uh, then the density of liquid is rho now for the depression see here capillary depression is also same pho sigma cos theta rho gd where equation for this there are depression that's why the h is from the liquid level to the downward direction sigma is equal to surface tension theta is equal to angle between liquid and glass tube and h is equal to capillary depression and sigma is equal to density of the liquid right but whenever the water and clean glass tube are considered then our theta will be zero for some time right then cos theta is equal to 1 cos theta is equal to 1 then consider the formula for this now turn to compressibility fluid are compressible or not also incompressible or not see here all volumes this property of fluid is known as the compressibility 
the fluid may be compressed by the application of external force whenever we apply the external force then the external force remove the compressed volume of the fluid expand the original shape it will be expanded from the original shape right this property is called as the compressibility the compressibility of fluid is expressed as the inverse of bulk modulus of elasticity that's why compressibility is equal to 1 by k where k is equal to bulk modulus of elasticity bulk modulus of elasticity is defined as the ratio of compressive stress to the volumetric strain bulk modulus of elasticity k is equal to compressive stress divided by volumetric stress in this way we completed all the property terms of the fluid in briefly in this my second session now we start the pressure manometer and something in my next lecture